Hey guys, so what are we doing? We're fixing this freaking motor is what we're doing. Uh, I need to take the power head off. Um, so I'm gonna link my old video, or sorry, my other video uh, where I fixed the uh, water pump impeller, uh, but it's still not pumping water through the motor. And doing some research, uh, apparently there is a uh gasket or, or something that's buried like right in there uh which melts when the water pump stops working the motor overheats uh it's like plastic or something so it melts and when i was actually testing it the the impeller works right so all that stuff water goes in but it doesn't come out the uh the little tubey hole here whatever that's called I forget there's a there's an actual name for it um, so doing some research um, and actually I blew air through it so I can hear the air going out but it's not coming out through the tube where the water should be actually coming through so uh, all that to say is I gotta take the power head off um, and then replace that gasket and hopefully we'll be good to go after that so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna link my other video for the water pump impeller somewhere in here um, so you guys can take a look as well um, but yeah so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this thing off uh, there's one two three four there's four screws that hold that and then there's some bolts there that I gotta remove to actually take the power head off so let's get to it So, I think these are the actual bolts for the power head. So we will uh, we'll take those off next. All right, got the power head off. Um, there is a video that I was watching actually to kind of help me. Um, and the guy did a really good job, way better than what I can do explaining. Uh, unfortunately, the motor he has doesn't have electric start, and mine does, so there's a few extra steps. Into, uh, aside from that I ran into a small little problem um, so I got the power head off these are the bolts that actually hold the power head and they screw in from down here so there's three on each side um, in my case they came off super easy and they're just like that they're seven seven sixteenths or 11 mils um, the problem that I had was this screw there is a wire that goes to the kill switch and I tried to get it off one way or another couldn't do it um, and the screw is like totally stripped you can really it's kind of on an angle so maybe that's why it came off but like it won't budge I tried 20 different things so I just ended up cutting the wire and I'll splice it after um, that's really my only option um, I even actually took the starter out to see if that would help, but it didn't. Um, and then I had to take this off. This is the kill switch, and this is the start start switch. So I actually had to take that off because there is a a wire that's, well, it's this one, but I don't know. It was like kind of on the side there, and I was trying to get something else out, and it wouldn't work. <laughs> so pain in the butt. I uh, had to take this off. Uh, just loosen the nuts here so this just kind of slides off um, and that's where that goes that's the throttle um, but yeah so that's the power head this is the gasket that I got to replace and I think this is the little thing that actually melted that's caused me all the problems see it heated up melted and no water is going through and this is the, the cooling uh, 
the cooling from the cooling pipe or the impeller so so this is the copper copper tube as you can see it goes into the shaft there and so this thing sits in there like that and this just melted so that's what needs to be replaced um, not very complicated to be honest uh, fairly fairly straightforward but just uh, a lot of tinkering and stuff so kind of hoping the weather holds out because I'm out in the open here um, so yeah I'm gonna clean all this up I have new gaskets for here and I have this new thing um, I did buy the parts hopefully they hopefully they fit so this is the little kit that it came with um, so yeah gonna replace this put the new gasket on and then put this all back together and cross my fingers hope it works okay so that's the new gasket I've cleaned it up best I could um, and I'm gonna put it back together and this is the new little gasket that goes on to the copper tube also this fell off and I'm not really sure <laughs> where it's from I gotta figure that out but yeah making slow slowly but surely we're making some progress so we're gonna put it all back together now all right guys final stages here uh just gotta put the prop or the bottom end back on um took a little longer than i expected um mostly because it pissed rain so i had to <laughs> in an emergency way fashion put everything away all my tools and stuff and then wait till the rain stopped um but yeah everything everything is in um I think everything's good actually there's another gasket that's here so this is where the spark plugs are and that's actually where the water goes through so I oh, gotta hook up that hose um, yeah so <clears throat> when I was originally troubleshooting uh, what the issue was I took that off and there's a gasket there um, it didn't look that bad but since I'm doing all this I ordered um, a gasket for that as well and replace that um, getting the old gasket off was a pain in the butt it was really really caked on there but anyway so yeah I'm gonna put this back on uh, not gonna videotape that uh, that's in my other video it's a bit uh, it's not difficult it's just a matter of kind of positioning it properly and sometimes what happens is uh, um, the gears don't align so you have to make sure that uh, just the you're in the right gear so I left it in neutral hopefully that's still in neutral if not sometimes you gotta mess around with that a little bit but anyways almost done uh, it's late so I won't be able to test it tonight but I did blow air through it and it's going uh, it is going through all the way so uh, definitely better than, <laughs> than it was before so if all goes well tomorrow I'll pop it in the water and just make sure everything works all right i guess end of the video will be the motor and the water so i can show you guys that it actually works so uh yeah stay tuned for that well the motor's back together guys uh putting that bottom end took a hell of a lot more time than i wanted it i just couldn't get it to fit but eventually after probably uh, 50 or 60 tries I got it in uh, I was gonna test the boat today but uh, yeah this is what the weather looks like so I guess it will have to wait till tomorrow but as promised I will uh, include a clip and hope to God everything works because I really don't want to do this all over again it was a lot of work